Hello everybody. <laughs> Today I'm going to be wiring up this uh, stereo system uh, that I got. Um, it's, well, we have to make an amplifier and we have, and I ordered speakers for it. After we do this, um, and make sure it works, we're going to make a, um, a case for it in Fusion 360. Probably not today. We're just going to wire this up today and see where it goes. Um, but I want to get this project underway because it's been a while. Um, this is going to be for my tiny house project. Um, yeah. So, um, so yeah, this is going to be for the uh, phone that we've uh, purchased the, I guess, the add-on for the back of it. That allows it to charge without using the the charge port, which basically gives you an extra charge port on the game console thing. And I'm going to use that as my um, as my audio device for like Spotify and stuff. And then we're going to put it through this amplifier and speakers and stuff, and it's going to be for my tiny house. So. Let's open up this kit. I have no idea what any of this stuff is so far. I know I'm gonna need a screwdriver for it. That's about it. So we got, I guess an instruction manual. Very important. Thank you for purchasing yada, 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 DIY enthusiasts. Okay. 50 watt, two hi fi audios. All right. I mean, okay, besides that, the instructions are just kind of like put this board on this board on this board. Um, but we'll see how it is. All right, so we've got a package with a screwdriver, some knobs, and a heatsink, and a looks like a DC plug. We got um, we got a plate of some kind with some screws and some standoffs, and then we got this so this box i'm gonna break down and we're gonna recycle this cardboard we're gonna throw it in the cardboard pile that i have growing because i do pokemon cards and half those boxes are like cardboard all right so let's take this out of the packaging mm -hmm. And so, I don't know what this is so far. Uh, so this might just go on top of that. Oh wait, there are two plates in here. Okay, so this is okay. I think. All right. Yeah. Okay. So this is this is two plates. One goes on the bottom somehow, and then the top. Wow. I mean, it's not that hard to get for it to for it to be the way it is. Oh, they literally include the, the male jack side, so I don't have to worry about the female. Okay, so that's cool. Um, so let's, I guess, get the... I don't really need a screwdriver, then. I don't need my iFixit kit if they give me a screwdriver with this. 
So let's, oh, let's put this white paper down underneath so I can see what the heck I'm pulling from. I should have some kind of like mat or something for him, but it's not going to happen. Um, and it's, what is this? Okay, so the little ones go first on the bottom here. Okay, so these are a little bit too small for my fingers to grip on too tightly, so I'm gonna... Oh, jeez. Alright. I don't know if I should... Yeah, I should grab my... My pliers for this. Ah! Yeah, I don't think these have enough grip, so we're just gonna... It's okay if it's just hand-tightened, I guess. Alright, next one. This is all... Uh, the screws are all black, so you can't really see too much of them. But... Uh, give me one second. There we go. All right. So we're just trying to, we're just trying to, there, get it finger tight, I guess, because there's no other way I'm going to be able to clamp onto any of this. Um,. Alright, so we got three of our standoffs on. Let's make it the fourth one. This is so hard to put on there. How much money this cost them, but they should have just tack welded them on, maybe. Alright, so we got our name plate there. Let's see. I think it's supposed to go on something like that. Yeah, there we go. Because if we do it the other way around, it's just going to look ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah, that's off. Oh. Is this magnetic? Mm. I really hope these this plate isn't magnetic. Or at least covered in some kind of like anti-metal spray because these these bumps on these are gonna hit the Well, it doesn't look like they're hitting. But, in a sense, they could, in theory, do that. Alright, so then these get tightened onto here. So you got these standoffs right here that are supposed to kind of... Nope, is that the wrong way? Is it only one direction they can fit in? Because that would suck completely. No, I don't think so. I think we're good. It's just got to go in straight. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Mm.
There we go. All right, so we got that done. So now it says there's the heat sink for the amplifier. Yeah, I guess that's the right way. I don't know. Ah. I don't know. I'm supposed to, I guess, sit there and press down, I guess. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Mm. Okay. Um... And then we put the top on, I guess. Uh, this is going to slide all about, ain't it? Well, that's going to be the hard part, then. There we go. I just lined up the other three holes. There's that. There's that. And then there's the last one. All right. Cool. So this is supposed to be doing 50 watts, eh? All right. So let's throw these, these caps on really quick. Let's finish up this, I guess, this build or whatever the heck this is. This isn't really a build. Oh, that's off. Like, it's got a nice little click to it. Alright, so it's off right now. So I just want these little... These to line up. Turn everything to the left. Turn everything to the left there. And now my 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 knobs are all on. For treble, bass, and volume. Alright, the next thing is we gotta get speakers on these. So I got, oh, we got a spare, we got a spare screw. That goes on the screw bin. There we go. Yes, these are made of steel, because they are just, they just, uh, the one just got onto the magnet tray that I have. So, meh, not bad. All right, and just and now he's got to hook this end up to 12 volts or was it 9 volts to 24 whatever it is all right so there's that okay 
Next is this big thing. All right. This is going to be our speakers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we got two drivers, a bunch of screws for wood, but we're going to be using 3D printing to get these on, so I don't care. And that's about it in this box. So um, the next thing we need to do is connect these to this. Um, so we're going to have, nope, 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 mm, maybe, maybe these. Yeah, those fit on just nice. So I can remove these whenever I want to. I want to make a cable from here, going from here to here, here to there. Yep. And we just... We have enough of them. We have just enough. We have four. Actually, this one might not. Hmm. You can kind of see. Let me focus this. This one might not work because you can see it's already started to crimp in. These ones, if you look at them. Ah, okay. These ones are just regular circles. That one's already pushed in. Now these, these are crimp connectors. So what they do is they literally push down onto the wire and grab onto it. And that's how you get them. Um, so I'm probably not going to use that one. I'm probably going to throw it away. And I'm probably going to grab another one. If I can't find any, we're just going to have to make do with it. Okay. Actually, I think these might fit better than those, but... Well, they seem to fit, actually, pretty decently. So we're just going to use those really quick. Next thing is the wire. <clears throat> so I got, all right, so I got my four connectors going there. These ones don't need any connectors. It looks like it's just gonna be a slide in. Yeah, it just looks like you're just gonna compress the wire in there. And yep, that's how it's gonna wor work. How we're gonna roll. Um, so, okay, get rid of these screws. The wire is the next thing. Is 
there a way to... Okay, so this one's plus, that one's minus. You can kind of see. A little plus symbol right there. And the minus symbol right there. So we got to make up two cables. One of each. Um, screw it, we're going to make it blue. We're not going to make these super long. We're just going to make them long enough. Two cable, two blue, and two of something else. I don't know. Let's do white. You kind of want to make them the same length. Or about. There. Grab that. We're going to unroll it until it reaches the end of that. About right there. Okay, so we got our wire now. We got our four wires. We got our four chrome connectors. And we got our doodad. All right. And we got our amplifier. All right, so we're just going to strip them down. Actually, it should be a little bit more than that. Eh, probably not that much, but... Then we get our, our crimp connector. Yeah, it's probably too much right there. I might want to solder these just just for you know just for shits and giggles because I don't want these strands coming apart all right move these over there that over there oh the soldering iron's not on. oh soldering iron wasn't on We're just going to do the same with these guys. One. Ah. Two. And we'll do the other side for two. And then the other side of these guys as well. And we can shorten these afterwards as long as they get. I just, I don't want, I want to solder them to tin the wires and just so that way they don't come apart at the end of the day. That's two. Oh, no, that's a little bit sloppy there. There we go. Let's do the white ones first. Get the, yeah. Get the blue ones out. Get the blue ones out. Don't want the blue ones right now. Let's finish with the white ones first because they are. That's one of the ones that 
Mm, we just did tin that one. Mm -hmm. mm. There. So this one's done. All right. This one. We got that side, that side done. We tin that side. And on this side. That looks all right. So white, one white wire is done. That one isn't. There, that one's done, and the other side's the other side's done too. Let's do the blue next. There we go. I really need something for the smoke to get away. I can't, I can't stand that. <clears throat> That's better. So that, 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 I got my, my extractor fan on with a carbon filter that I built. Uh, it's not like it's the best thing for these fumes, but it'll do for right now. Uh, for small scale. Mm -hmm. These ones I didn't twist, so it came apart almost instantly. I think I got it. There, that one's done. All right, next one, last wire we have to do. Mm -hmm. Actually, I might be able to just do two for the way it's lined up right here. So I think we got that done. All right. Soldering iron off. Zoom out. All right. 
All right, so next thing is we want to grab... There's a lot of stuff here now. We're going to put some stuff away that I don't need. Don't need soldering. Not solder anymore. Just put that away. This is garbage. Put that away. So we're just going to put one one strip in here until you see ooh we're going to put one end in here until you see like a little bit of that that side coming out and then you want to grab your crimping tool and you see how it's labeled with uh, red blue yellow we're going to do it under the yellow Right on there. And it should, in theory, work. Mm. And because I am going to probably regret doing this, we're going to solder a little bit to the wire as well. We're gonna grab our next one. Woo. Auto focus, you piece of garbage, please. Yep, we're gonna do the same here. That way it's not okay so you do that because you can tug on this now without having any real issues of it coming apart um give me that solder i was wrong we need you a little bit more and we're just going to touch these up by making sure that there's an electrical connection between the wire between the wire and the connector we're just making sure there's there's a little bit of connection there and that's fine All right, these two are done. The blue ones are done. We're gonna do the connectors for the other two now, the white ones. One end in here. Then one, oh, come on, did you slide out? Yeah, it slid out. All right. And this one looks like it's trash too. All right. So we only got the blue ones in yellow. We can do the other two in red. That's fine. Hopefully these work. Same way. Right there. They should. In theory, at least. Yep. Work right there. All right. There, we got one there. That's fine. 
Where's the other red? There we go. The other red's right there. To be fair, I think I got the wrong sizes on these in the first place. The yellow should have never worked. Um, but I had those. Just They needed to be used in the box, so we had to use them. Oh, these guys look about right. Let's solder. Let's solder a bit. Let's solder them. Oh, wait, we're out of solder. Oh, there's the last piece of solder right there. Throw out that, that spool that held them in for whew, a long while. I know I have some more solder somewhere if we need to. But I think that's good right there. And let's get the other one. Meh. Meh. Let's put a little solder on there real quick. There. And that should, in theory, um, be it. So let's zoom out again. So what are we going to do? We're going to make the um, positives red, I guess. Okay, we don't need the crimping tool anymore. Let's get that away. We need the screwdriver still because we need to unscrew those. But okay, so red for the positive, blue for the negative. What in the world? Okay. Well, that might change it up because these ones won't fit there. Okay, so the white's going to be negative. White's going to be negative. Let's. So we're just going to. Right on. Oh. Mm. I might have a little bit more than what's necessary for that to work. For right now, we're, we're it's good. We're just testing it out so we don't need to do too much with it. There, all right, so there. Positive, negative, we're good. Now I gotta figure out which one's gonna be the, the right side and which one's gonna be the left, which should be simple. Uh, whatever I decide it to be. All right, so positive. All right, first we gotta loosen these all up. Oh. I need to lock that in, don't I? And move it out the way so I don't touch it again. I wish I had a bigger desk because this is just... But there's nowhere to put it in here, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Even if I did get one. Alright, so this one's going to be our left, I guess. Negative is white. And it should just...
Nope. All right, well, that's going to just be there. Nope, it can't just be there. All right, we're going to have to clip these off. I should have never soldered them, actually. We're going to... Yoink. And they should just go right in there. Yep, like that. And then I screw it down. Should just try to work itself. There, it worked its way in. And then we just close it right on there. Same thing with these. There we go. Now we should have there. All right. Now we do. Now this is to my equipment. Oh, we got to first slice this open. Nope, that ain't gonna work, so we're just gonna have to cut them apart. And do a little bit of... There. And there. Red goes to red and black goes to black We got line in. This is going to be our cord to our cell phone. Now I'm just going to grab the cell phone. All right, so we got our cell phone. Hopefully this powers up. It's been charging for a minute. Yep, okay, so now I gotta turn off the music here, guys, because we're gonna hopefully. Ah, the light's too strong, it fades everything else out. Hello, Moto. And we got our 
um, little jack right here for where it's going to go. And all I have to do is turn it on. Actually, I'm going to remove this. And I'm going to turn on my equipment first. Oh, looks like looks like it's on. All right, looks like my cell phone works too. Phone is starting. Ah, Spotify. We're going to uh, play something on Streambeats. Yeah, no SIM cards found. You're never going to get a SIM card again. Please stop asking. Stream beats by. All right, so we're gonna plug this in. Oh. Oh, boo! We're not. We're not. We're not doing that. We're not promoting Spotify. Thirty-three day insurance, USAA. I wanted to. Yeah, Spotify, thank you for giving me an, an ad for reminding it. Okay, so let's start now. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but that's this is this is working. Now let's try and change the bass. Oh, trouble. Oh. Sorry, that was trouble. That's just the bass going off. No, oh, that's going the bass going up. I think that's just the song. Um, so these do work. This is great. Um, see if we can hit another song. Stream beats, matcha. Like, you can feel the vibrations coming off these. This is great. Oh, man.
And I think that's... That's okay. So that's kind of where we're at right now. That's all I need for... To test it out to see if it works. So now we're going to build a case for this. This. Um, and we got... So we're going to need to build a case for all of this, including this, which is going to be the charging cable, which I found. It should, while we're testing everything out, I might as well see if I can charge this thing, because it's supposed to sit... I want this to sit right here, like that. See if this works. Oh, customize that. What? Mm. That didn't work. Uh, okay, so let's... I might need to tell Amazon this is a bad cable. Um... Oh, nope, it's not a bad key. Wait, maybe. Okay, wait, let me... How are you not... So I might need to buy a new cable before we start this project of designing everything. Yeah, we're gonna have to redesign this. What? Oh. Okay, maybe it was my cable being weird. But now it's working. It is charging. Is it? Yeah, it's got the little charging symbol up there. Um, I don't know how to... Charging, phone, AC. Okay, so... In theory, this works. Oh. So they're both going to just sit like that. And so, okay, turn off. They're both just going to sit like this and punch out the back. So this one just sits nice and flat that way. Uh, I'm going to do some research. After, after I build everything, I'm going to do the research on how to program the phone to turn it south sideways and just have my home automation stuff and maybe Spotify going. Just because, like... Just because it's that awesome. But we've got... So with that, um, I think we're going to be done for today on this project. So we wired up all this crap, made sure it all works. We got a charging symbol, so we know that the cables all work. Now I need to go into Fusion 360, put everything in there, or basically make... I don't know how I'm going to do this. Maybe we should figure that out now. I'm thinking... That, that, 
Is it going to sit above it, maybe? Yeah, maybe above it. Like, something like... Like this. Kind of. Yeah, like, okay, so like... Like this, when you're looking at it. And then maybe have like a little notch in here for... I don't know, something else. I'm thinking... I'm thinking... Hmm... What did I, what did I, f with, I messed up the power. That's my bad. Yep, we're good. Something like this, where that's, they're there, but they're more forward. They're like up here. And so, yeah, no, I think we're, I think we're good. I think I know the design I'm going to go with. I don't want anything to be like stupidly, I mean, maybe the width of, I don't know. Should I do it the width of this? Hmm. It's probably going to be a little bit bigger than the width of that, to be honest. Just to, just to mess with some items. Because this, I don't want this touching this. I want it a little bit of ways. And the other side's got to be the same. It's got to be balanced. And I just, uh, maybe like right there, where. The midpoint is kind of like right on the edge of this. And I just want this to, I guess, set down and dock in it with these stationary in there. I can hot glue them down or, or do some kind of glue uh, or, therm or compound or whatever just to have them sit inside the structure that I make. Have those there. And I don't know if I want this middle because it's going to waste space or... Maybe a bit up against this. No, not really. I might have to like figure it out in whatever. But I think maybe one or two USB ports down at the bottom, just to um, just to finish it up. I mean, because then I can have two USB ports down here. So if I need to charge something, because I think this is gonna go on a shelf somewhere at some point. I don't know if I want to build this into the tiny home itself, but whatever, um, whatever, whatever. It looks like 12 volts, 16 volts. I had it at 16 volts and we were still, we were humming away. Um, so I don't need the full 24. I don't think we need the full 12 either. So, so I think we're good. We're done. Um, I think we um, we accomplished what we wanted to do. I got a basic strategy of where I want everything to be. So, um, yeah, I think that's going to be it for today. So, thank you guys if you are you're turning in. Uh, yeah, if you watch, tune in. Um, and so. Have a wonderful afternoon, evening, night, guys. And hopefully either tomorrow... Well, tomorrow is going to be Pokemon if you're watching on uh, Twitch. 
Um, and so we're going to be doing that then. And, um, but we'll, we'll, we'll figure out Fusion 360. We're going to put it together in there. We're going to print it out. And we're just going to have a kind of a nice time with this. Because this is kind of like recycling my phone. But I also need, like, you know, speakers. So, and I think this is also Bluetooth at some point. So, even if I don't use it for this specifically, I can take out the phone or unplug it somehow. Um, and I just have a regular Bluetooth. Because I think this has Bluetooth as well. But anyways... That's it for now. All ideas done. We got it to work. We set it up. And so, have a, yep. I will see you guys next time. Bye.